and brief us what else is happening. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, we are here at the school that just caved in on the children, and the situation is quite dire. I mean, there are rescue efforts that are ongoing at the moment. Uh, we have the fire engine department from the Nairobi City Council. We also have quite a number of ambulances from the uh, from various units, including the uh, local government as well. Rescue efforts are ongoing. But just to bring you up to date in relation to the situation, I mean, children come to this specific school as early as 6.30 a.m. And it is believed that the building actually caved in at around 6.45, just when they are studying, when they were beginning their studies. And so far, we do know that about four children have been confirmed dead, while the majority of them have been rescued. Now, it's, they're trying to sort of um, get the last bit of the building. I mean, the the school has uh, has classes from standard one until all the way to standard eight, and some of them have been rescued, but we do understand that they have really bad injuries. I mean, just to bring you up to speed in relation to how the building is constructed, it is a somewhat of a Mabati sort of a building, and, and, and the classes were very squeezed, even the environment where I am at the moment, uh, it, it's very so the children, I do understand, where well, majority of them are in classes. There were many concentrated in one class. A and secondly, the fact that um, also the room in terms of the movement of the children is also very limited. So what is happening right now is that they are trying to sort of break down the wreckage so that they can try and at least save some of the children who are still stuck in the building and at the same time sadly pull off some of the bodies. So it, it, it is quite a dire, uh, sort of a dire. Uh, situation and also we have the local community also giving their efforts in terms of the rescue efforts, but 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 it, it, it is not not such right. a, Brenda, a very good Brenda, picture. Brenda, maybe on the just just a confirmation: is it confirmed that we have four students who have already been confirmed dead? Uh, yeah, so these are just reports according to the locals who are here, because uh, they did come here immediately. They had the building collapse. And so they said um, before we got here that there are quite a number of them who have been rescued, but the injuries are really bad. Like I said, the building is uh, quite a summer you know, the sort of construction with, with, uh, with not very tough uh, construction materials that are used in construction of the building. So you, you can imagine how these children were, uh, were affected in terms of the, the injuries. And right. at the same time, for the locals as well, they did indicate that they saw at least four bodies that were pulled out out of the wrecked building. So these are not confirmed resources in terms of the authority, but these are just reports from the locals who are here. I mean, it's a very crowded affair with everybody trying to do as much as they can when it comes to saving the children who are still stuck in the building. But, but, but sadly, where we are, they're trying to flatten the structure. So we do hope that there are quite a number of kids who will still be saved. Uh, and at the same time, sadly, also the bodies that All are right, being put out. Brenda, and and do, we, do we have any rescue services that have come in form of ambulances and maybe fire engines or at least qualified staff when it comes to disaster management? Yes, yes, we do, Michael. Uh, we do have the uh, fire engine department from the local county, that's the Nairobi County. We do have an ambulance as well from there. We also have um, uh, uh, the Red Cross. They are here also offering their services. So I could say from a medical perspective, there are quite a number of uh, key players who are here on the ground, and as well as the church authorities. I mean, then, like I said, the environment is very limited, so it's a very closed community. So we're having a lot of locals who are giving their support. But at the same time, also the buildings close to it. We have a church where we do understand some of the children were brought inside so that they can be given first aid as a, a matter of concern. And also we do understand that the really severe cases have been taken to hospital and also the bodies. Michael. All right. And the other point of concern, Brenda, is the parents. Are there efforts to at least reach the parents? Because I'm sure uh, this would be information that would shock them and they probably would want to get there as soon as possible. I mean, some of the parents were just waiting, especially the ones who were waiting, and they do not have reports in regard to their children are very devastated. They're crying. They're crying. They are, when they see one kid being pulled out or two kids being pulled out, and it's not their kid, they're very worried. You know, asking even the ones who are pulling them out, what about my child? Uh, if my child is still stuck there, when will you pull my child out? So we're having a lot of cries from my devastated parents who are still here and waiting for what in relation to where their children are. Are they still stuck in the building? So, so we are having a lot of hope.
parents, they have limited information because they're being told they wait until the rescue efforts are completed. At the same time, the ones who are really been affected uh, in terms of they have had losses of, of the children. I mean, it's, it's, they're really, they're crying, crying, they're devastated. And of course, they're, they're, they're the majority of them who are getting first aid uh, in the church close by. Michael? And as you can imagine, of course, it must be very traumatic. The other thing, Brenda, what about the children who have been pulled out and rescued? Is there anybody who's able to take care of that in terms of trauma and maybe even the injuries that are there? There are some who possibly would need emergency services as we speak. Yes, Michael. Let me just, let me just paint for you the picture and how exactly it looks like. So this is a structure that is 90% um, made of wood, and also, I would say, Mabati. And, and because of this, when the building caves in, this specific, um, like, the, the, what do you call it, the specific structures ended up cutting these specific children. So the majority of the injuries are cut. They are, they are not really bruises, but they are deep, deep, deep cuts. So because of the nature of the structure that, that, that was constructed in the school, the injuries are from, of course, when the building caved in, we have uh, a lot of cuts from it. We also have uh, many children who are also um, sort of hit by these uh, specific uh, uh, things like the, the wood that came in and hit them on the head. So they have those are the kind of the injuries that they have. And we do understand majority of them have been rescued, which is a good thing, but they have been taken to hospitals that are close by. When you are coming to quite a number of ambulances, you know, rush or race factors, so there were quite a number of ambulances. This, of course, the number of are many, but, 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 but the injuries, injuries are really bad. Because you can imagine this, the children we're talking about are from class, baby class, if I should say, all the way to class eight. So they're very, very small. So you can imagine the, the, the impact the building when it's caved in might have had on them, which is really, really bad. All but, right, so we understand the name of the school is Precious Talent, and is it, uh, maybe from where you are, Brenda, is it uh, one that has a full stream from baby class to standard eight, or is it more like a crash? What kind of a school are we talking about here? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you, it's, it's a very community-based kind of school, whereby you pull children so that you can encourage them to go to school. Um, it's very, the space around it is very limited, the office block is on one side. In fact, I think it's the only structure that I've seen made out of full stone. And also, majority of the classes are made of uh, wood and also, uh, like I said, mabati on top. Even another one that is still standing is still more or less the same as the one that just collapsed today morning. And the space is still limited. And then we have at the corner uh, where children can play, also very restrictive. Uh, uh, the surroundings are very close then. So you can imagine when you're having such a really, really, really bad, uh, what do you call it, a situation like today, rescue efforts are challenged. And also in terms of moving um, even the children for rescue efforts is also very limited. So it's a very community kind of school whereby they, 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 they pull children from various houses and encourage them to go to school. You can say also it's, it's a very low-cost school uh, in terms of the children who attend here. It, it's very interior of the rules. So uh, the children, of course, are considered many because of the surroundings. But the structure of the school is very, <coughs> is very, very, very close and such is not very stable at the moment from what I'm seeing. But, but, but yeah, it, it's... All right. It's, it's, Brenda, uh, Brenda before we, we, we let you go and maybe just gather more information as we keep tabs on what is happening at Precious Talent School on Gong Road, which has collapsed, the teachers, do we have a point of contact for a parent who maybe would be worried and would uh, possibly be uh, trying to get there? Are there teachers there? Are there? Is the principal there? Is there somebody who possibly you can talk to um, from where you are, Brenda? Michael, what is happening right now is that they're trying to flatten the structure. Majority of the people are watching from a distance. Everybody's concerned, will there be another life that will be saved? Will there be lives that will be saved? So the concentration for most of the locals who are here is trying to save the children who could possibly still be inside uh, the Rex building. 
So we, we, at the moment, we do not know where the teachers are. The local authorities are trying to push locals away from the building because most of them are still concerned in terms of who will be safe. So they are pushing us away so that they can encourage the fire engine department to sort of help in the in clearing the place and also getting uh, the children off the place if, if they're still there. But, but what we do know at the moment is that everyone is pulling their weight. We do not know if they are teachers, but we do understand that they are locals. The teachers, I haven't met uh, any of them so far. All right, Brenda. But I've met the parents who are still crying and asking about the whereabouts of their children, if they're safe, if, they have to, if their bodies are there, how can they reach you know, their bodies? And then also, um, we also get in um, uh, the ambulances that are here trying to uh, rescue, uh, put in any rescue effort. So at the moment, it's a very collaborative sort of uh, initiative from the locals, from the fire engine department, uh, from the ambulances and even the churches that are you know surrounding the area. That, that's what we do most. So they're really trying to sort of wreck up the building completely so that they can fully get um, all the children out. So it, no one is really, the concentration, much of their concentration is on the wrecked building. So all right, Brenda, we're going to give you a chance to uh, maybe just gather more information to uh, bring to us as we now hand over to Robin Toskin. But in case you're joining us now, that is breaking news. We have Precious Talent School, which is somewhere on Gong Road, which has two, it's a two-story building that has collapsed so far. Residents have said that they've seen four young children who unfortunately have lost their lives. However, we are informed by Brenda that we we already have emergency services on the ground helping to see whether they can uh, at least save more lives and also get any children that may be trapped under the rubble removed from those structures. We are made to understand that the structures are mainly made of wood and iron sheets and of course that would cause a huge danger to the children as they collapse. So we are tr still trying to gather more information. So far we have been told that four children have been confirmed dead. However, this is information that has been given by the residents that are on the ground trying to help as much as they can uh, to ensure that those children are safe. There are those who have also been retrieved with injuries and have been dashed to the nearest uh, hospitals and clinics around the area. So we'll give Brenda a few more minutes just to uh, see whether she can gather more information as we bring you this very, very unfortunate news as we receive it. That is uh, precious talent. Um, a school that is on Gong Road that has collapsed and so far we have four young children who have been confirmed dead. Others who have had serious injuries have been dashed to the hospitals. We do know that we have ambulance and fire engine services that are on the ground to help with trying to retrieve and save 